In the summer of 2003, Christine began hearing a horrifying sound coming from her ceiling, scratching and little footsteps. After four rodent control companies, tens of thousands of dollars, this would continue to go on for the next 20 years. The guys have 48 hours to find and seal the breach and eliminate the source of the ghost-like sounds. They're going to sniff out the most stomach-twisting of smells, reach their hands into the darkest holes, and be subject to biohazard contaminants even the CDC would turn away from. So we're mobilizing the twins to end this once and for all. How they do it is unknown. It's Saturday morning. It's a little bit cold, but we have got to help Christina here. Good morning. Good morning. David here. Hi. Hi. You know, I was going to ask you um, if you could move this. The crew that was working yesterday left this. I don't want you guys to trip over it. Oh, the hose? Yes. Yeah. Hey, guys, let's move the water hose for Christine. I've got a broken wrist. Two, two bad knees, so. Oh. <laughs> oh, that sounds painful. <laughs> Would you want to show me around at the, yes. where, where you're getting the activity? Yes. Okay. So how long have you been dealing with this? On and off. For On and 20 off? 20 years. 20 years? Four different well, I, I have been rid of them for a while, and then they come back. Oh, and you've had four pest four control? Four different pest control. And how did you find us? For, through them. Oh, they All recommended best. us? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Here, and you can smell, it smells like rat. Oh, right? yeah. Whew, I know. And it go, comes and goes. I mean, it'll be fine for months, and then all of a sudden, it'll be really heavy. Okay. In fact, I've had, you know, pest control guys out here. I don't smell anything, and you, you don't, but you do Comes now. and goes, yep. So, I get running along here. Okay. Sometimes over the bathtub. So you would say then this area for sure is the most active area? No, I'll show you everything else that's active. Okay. <laughs> There's more? Oh yeah, a lot more. Nowhere else down here do I ever hear them. Okay. Along here. Okay. This was an attic. I had to convert it to a, a room. And they moved the heating duct. And then I hear them here. Okay. I found one in this cabinet three months ago. You can move that. I just put it up because I was scared of them getting back in. That's a rubber band here, huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I put a brick there. <laughs> and then I, and I called my exterminator. So it was like happening like at five o'clock at night. And I called the exterminator and he said, well, I'm on a job now. I can't get there until tomorrow. So I, that's why I did that. Oh. He came, nothing in there. He could not figure out how they got it. He got it. <gasps> Except for that, I haven't had anything in the house for decades. Okay. Do you mind if I go up to that loft area Just real quick? Careful. There's a lot of stuff up there. Okay. There's a light right to your left. Oh, yeah. When was the last time you heard activity? Three days ago? Okay. Okay, we're gonna get started outside All right. and work our way in. My prediction is gonna be from this piping system right here. Oh, oh, I was right. Oh, I was right, you guys. I just got here. Boom. That's it. That's it. Hey, he found it. Oh. That's not a great way to start a beautiful Saturday morning is when you take a big whiff and you've got rat urine in your stomach. Whew. Gosh, guys, if you just smell the vents, 20 years, four pest control companies, all you've got to do is do a sniff test. It's exciting. After 30 years of doing this, I still get excited sniffing out rat vents. Okay, so the question is, where is the breach inside of the wall here? What the heck is inside that pipe? Guys, give me a flashlight. Okay, let's put the camera down going on there. A vent pipe like this should never have any buildup. Alright, what are we gonna come to? What are we gonna see here? What are we gonna see? Come back. 
go away, go back a little bit. Look. Oh, look at the chew. Yes. <laughs> look at that. Owie. They chewed right Give through. Me the we found it. Hey, Victor. Maybe you can hear the camera. You hear it? It's like where's the toilet? On top of it, I hear it. Oh, behind the toilet? Uh, go ahead. You want me to do it again? Yes. I don't know why I hear it more in the ceiling. Let's see, Daniel, you you do the shaking. Okay, and you go on downstairs. And then I'll go downstairs, okay? Okay. Make sure you do this. Okay? Okay, let's see if we can pinpoint that sound. Tell him to do it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Got it, okay. Okay, what makes sense, remember she was saying, oh, I could smell the urine? This is where that opening is right there, so it makes sense why she's getting the odor coming out of here. Christine? Yes? Oh, I have an update for you. Right there. Oh, yeah. Is chew marks. You can see the rash. Oh, they Jesus. chew right through your drain system here. So this is what we need to explore. Okay. We need to locate that in your ceilings and walls. That's, you know, that toilet you're saying you're getting the smell? Yeah. It's right in that area there. Okay. We're not dealing with the uh, roof rat. We're dealing with the Norway rat, which is... Like the country Norway? Yeah, actually they came from Europe on a ship way back in, in the day. They live in the sewer system and they come up through and they're very strategic. Like that chewing that you, we just saw, why aren't you getting any water leaking down? Because they know where that water flow is, so they always chew above the water flow, or they always chew in a strategic location to get into the home. Oh They've been studying the humans much, much better than we've been studying them. Oh, it's scary when you think about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How did you get into this business? Oh, do you have a couple of hours? No. No, we do not. How many thousands? No, I, I, at least 10. 10,000? Oh yeah, because I had to get a new garage door. I, re I drywalled my garage. God, that really, really, really pisses me off when I hear a customer spending $10,000 or more, especially all the time, the frustration and the emotional side of this, guys. She's ready to walk away from her home and all it took was a couple of sniffs in those vents. So if you're a pest control company watching this and you're dealing with rats more than seven to 12 days, sniff those vents out. Try to get that urine smell coming out of those vents, guys. That's the right protocol. Uh, we've put out a lot of content here. Follow some of these steps. It's gonna solve a lot of issues. Let's get to opening up those ceilings and walls. Really curious as to what we're gonna find there. In, huh? Yep. Oh, look at all the aluminum, guys. Whoa! This is massive. Okay, we're gonna have to get a wetting agent and an antimicrobial, and we're gonna fog up in there because it is highly contaminated. Where? Oh, yes. Shot there. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. They crawled up this pipe, came this way, and strategically chewed right there to get into this house. Look at that, you guys. Super, super clean. Está muy limpio. Okay, we're gonna do another fogging just to neutralize and get all that wood saturated with our enzyme. Completely 
saturated. Oh, this place smells so much better, this area, you guys. Look at the wood they've chewed here. They've chewed all this. And they've chewed here. That's terrifying. Okay, so we're gonna be setting up our uh, Wi-Fi camera up in the attic. We're gonna use peanut butter and then our twin rat trap hoodie. This thing is bad. It lures these rats right inside you guys to the bait plate. So super excited. This has been truly successful. In fact, we went to Mexico City and there's a famous park uh, called Chapultepec and uh, known to have a lot of rats. So we went ahead and set some, well, let me just cut to this here. You gotta see this, pretty cool. Mira, un grandísimo. Oh, pobrecito. Oh, mira la sangre. Uh, I don't like this peanut butter, it's too runny. I like the chunky one with the peanuts in it. My guy's got this one here. See, no stir, don't do it. We can't use this. All right, we got the ultra chunky. Look at that. Perfect. I'll just set that in there like this. See how they can't come from behind anymore? They can't come from the side. They can only come right into that feed play. That's the kill zone area right there. If you can get their nose in there, they could trip that and they can't see anywhere else. You're going to catch a hell of a lot more rats with the twin rat hoodie. Look at that. What we're also going to do is utilize this clean out outside. We're going to set up our twin sewer rat monitoring camera system here. This will just sit right down here so we could see how aggressive these sewer rats are coming in. We may have to put in a backflow device because Christine never wants this problem again. But I want to see how aggressive the Norway rat is coming in and going. So we're gonna set up this, we're gonna be able to monitor in real time as to how aggressive these Norway rats are. That's genius. And then what I like to do on my camera that I push down into the sewer pipe to monitor, I'll just take a little bit of peanut butter like this and wipe it on the camera. We'll see if they'll lick that right off. So we come up with all of these little ideas and we want to innovate because we want to be two steps ahead of these rats. That's what it takes. If you want to catch more rats, we came up with a twin rat hood. If you want to monitor activity into the sewer, we created a monitoring box specifically to detect any sort of Norway rat activity. Super important because that'll give you real data as to really what's going on and how active these rats are in a particular sewer line. So being an innovator in this industry is awesome, especially when it works. All right, I'm gonna leave the crew here, take on some other little tasks around here, do another smoke test. After that pipe gets replaced, I'm gonna monitor over the next several days and see how this rat activity is gonna be in her house. Day two. Guys, it's the next day. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm wide awake and excited because we caught a rat. But what I'm really excited about is our rat trap hood. That little hoodie that slides over those rat traps. I want you to take a moment and really look at the physiology of the rat on how it's trying to figure out the best way to get that bait. They no longer can come from the top. They no longer can come from the side. It lures them right in. It's unbelievable. Okay, so before we go inside, let's check our sewer box here. I'm curious as to see if uh, the rats ate our peanut butter. Nope. Good morning. Was there more noise last night? You know, I wasn't home until late and then I just went right in this room where oh. I didn't get any noise. Okay. Is that like blood? Blood. Maybe the blood came through the vent. in the kill zone, you guys. Okay, let's get him out of here. Nice catch. 
So he took the one with our bait plate with peanut butter and uh, you can see a Slim Jim in there. So two different types of bait. Okay, you don't want to see it, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Her reaction was so cute. No. Okay, we're going to reset this. Okay, so we have one here and one up there. And this is the new pipe, guys. So remember this fitting here? Had a big hole. It's all sealed up. That's why we're catching rats. They can't get out. The other thing that Christine wanted us to do is all her wood was worn out, so we put this P-Tex in and put trim. It's all completely waterproof. We did this to all the sinks in her house. It's really nice. It's been so frustrating. That's, and thousands and thousands of dollars in time. In time. Sleepless nights. You can't even sleep in your yeah. bedroom. Yeah. Well, we're getting to the bottom of it. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll be in touch, okay? All right. Thanks Enjoy. Again. Okay, bye-bye. Day three. All right, we're back at Christine's. As you saw on that footage, guys, we got another one. That rat hood is amazing. Let's go ahead and extract it out of the ceiling. Christine, how are you? All right, so we we got another one on the... Another one? Another one. Oh God, so they're not all gone yet. Well, pretty much. We haven't had any activity since this last one. And when did you get the last one? Uh, day before yesterday. Oh yeah, okay, that's yeah. when you talked about it. Yeah, no, okay. we haven't gotten another one since then. Well, let's smell it in there. Okay, all right. Big one. Wow. Oh, that's a big one. That's what we love about the rat hood. The rat hood in conjunction with the rat tugger, huge, huge percentage of our catch rate now. That was a big one. No, I think that's it too. That's the good news. That was a nice, nice catch. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put our enzyme inside there and get that uh, sanitized inside that ceiling. All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply our enzyme. As you can see, Dave set the uh, sewer monitoring device. Remember he baited this camera at the top? Look at the peanut butter so they're active in this sewer pipe for sure all right as you can see here the backflow the concrete patching is all done here's the backflow device yes and this deserves the rat dance <laughs> What was super exciting about this particular episode is watching these rats lured right into our little hoodies here, you guys. Game it's, changer. It's been a game changer. We're catching honestly. so many more rats, you guys. As you can see, and you will see in our upcoming videos where these rats are tugging way deep inside. Twin rat hoods are catching more rats than ever. Leave your comments, hit that subscribe button, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the next one. one.